Let's see who's hopping on here first. I have a friend with me today. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you about what this is. Don't worry about it. Oh my gosh. All right. I don't know why. For some reason, I'm not seeing Shell Burners. You're number one, babe. You're the winner. I miss you. How are you? All right. There's Shonda Morning. I have a friend. All right, guys. Here's the question. Here's the question. Why do you think you have your eyes closed on blank? You fill in the blank. Why do you think you have your eyes closed? What is it that you're not looking at? That's an improper sentence because it ends the sentence with a preposition and my mother would kill me for that. But anyway, what is it that you're not looking at? Uh, we also say, what do you have your head buried in the sand on, right? We think that if we don't look at something, talk about it, identify it, it's just not there, right? Easy to kind of take out of the back of our mind, easy to go about our day and pretend that this thing, like a big giant dinosaur, it's not an elephant in the room, it's a dinosaur in the room. We can pretend like this thing is not there. What am I talking about? Well, I'll just list a few and maybe some of these will resonate. Uh, of course, financial problems. Hey, if you don't look at your bank account, then no problem, right? Or hey, if you don't look at your P&L every day, if you're a business owner, no problems. Uh, your relationship, your marriage, your friends, like something's off, something's not right. If we don't look at it, it's not there. And we just know that what we don't look at actually is just festering behind the scenes, right? So let me give you a demonstration. That's why I've got my friend here. I'm going to give you this demonstration. In the spirit of bird box, which this is not a bird box thing, but in the spirit of bird box. If I'm sitting here like this, not looking at it, does this mean T-Rex is not here, about to bite my head off? Just because I'm not looking at him doesn't mean he's not here, about to bite my head off. Right? <laughs> anyway, what is it that you're not looking at? What is it that you need to bring to the light, that you need to say out loud, look at, talk about? Uh, if it's financial, guys, this is the year to do it. You know, here's a big one. Taxes. Taxes are going to come up. You can close your eyes, bury your head, pretend it's not there, but April 15th is coming. It's coming for you. <sighs> Boy. So, don't pretend T-Rex isn't in the room. Let's shout it out, all right? Okay, and so, for, yes, Shonda, hear no, see no, hear no, see no, say no evil, right? Hi, Rhonda, what's going on? All right, for today's Dance Party Friday, I have tied in a Rob Bass DJ Easy Rock song. It's called It Takes Two, meaning it takes two eyes to look at what it is you need to be looking at. I know that's that's not how you're supposed to end that sentence. I'm really sorry. Mom, please accept my apologies. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. You know they've got me tied to a very short period of time, but we're gonna we're gonna go, we're gonna go. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, come on. It takes two, it takes two eyes to look at it. to get down. I'm not internationally known, but I know to rock the microphone because I get stupid. I mean outrageous. Stay away from me. If you're contagious, tell us the winner. No, not a loser. The BNMC is what I choose. The ladies love me. Girls adore me. All right, that's it. That's all we got for this Dance Party Friday. Another one in the books. Open your eyes, guys. What is it that you should be looking at that you've just refused to look at for a really long time? Okay, let's do it. If I can help in any way, that's what I'm here for. Please, please, please let me help. All right, guys, have an awesome weekend, and uh, I'll see you next week. See ya. Bye.